Hi there, it's Mrs. Drake with the trombone. And uh, this is for book lesson 18. Lesson 18, everybody. I hope you've already warmed up on your five note scales. And before we get going on lesson 18, I'd like to do another warm up back on page 26. So everybody flip back to page 26. Let's look at the second one down, the one that's called lip slurs. So everybody, page 26, the second one down, the one called lip slurs. Okay, so obviously this is a lip, this one works your lips. It does not work your arm. If you look through song two, do you see that everything is in first position? Or if you're playing the euphonium or baritone, it's open. Um, so what it does is it's a lip exercise. And the first time through, I highly recommend doing it without the slurs. So I'm going to play it without the slurs. When you feel like you have it pretty good without the slurs, then I encourage you to try it with the slurs. It does make it much more difficult. It makes it much more difficult. Because the tongue, it's called the attack. When you flick your tongue, like saying the word two, it does give um, the air a little bit of energy that makes it easier to hit the pitch. So when you do a slur, it makes it more challenging. It really does make it more challenging. Okay, so I'm going to play song, uh, page 26, number two, the one that's called Lip Slurs. I'm playing it without the slur. And again, I encourage you eventually to try it with the slur. Okay, everybody, song two. Everybody warm up low B flat, F, and high B flat. <laughs> Number two. One, two, ready, go. regular assignment which was lesson 18 everybody lesson 18 I'm going to grab a quick drink of water I've been having trouble with my lips lately so sometimes my tone might not be that good keep going without me <laughs> okay lesson 18 song one um, this one has B flat E flat key signature so remember you have to play a second position if you're playing trombone second finger if you're playing the euphonium or baritone and there are some A's in song number one so if you feel like you need to write a two by those A's go ahead it's better than making a mistake feel free to write reminders in for yourself trombone do not do the slurs trombone trombone do not do the slurs if you're playing the euphonium or the baritone maybe don't play the slurs the first time but eventually I hope you can get where you can do the slurs trombone do not do the slurs at all okay song one everybody warm up the beginning of song one <laughs> Everybody, song one. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> my tone a little bit okay number two check the key signature that's the first thing that catches my eye four flats four four flats on song two that means b flat e flat a flat and d flat please remember that the order of the flat spells the word bead like bead on a bracelet or bead beaded necklace necklace it spells bead b flat e flat a flat and d flat okay so as you scan through the song um the very first note is a flat there is a D flat. The fourth note of the song is a D flat. So um, feel free to write yourself reminders. A flat on the trombone is third position. Um, if you're playing the baritone horn or the uh, euphonium member, it's first finger for A flat. And D flat on a trombone, it's fifth position. And on a baritone or a euphonium, it's two, three. So again, please feel free to write reminders to yourself. Um, song number two, the key signature makes it trip tricky. Um, there's a lot of rests. That's another thing that can, can uh, mess you up too. So be careful of the rests. Everybody warm up the beginning of song two. Remember the first note is A flat. <laughs> Song three, 
oh, when the saints, the full name is when the saints go marching in. You might recognize this melody. Okay, um, it starts off with some rests. So I'm going to lead it off with two, three, four, one, and then you come in on a low B flat um, on beat two. So that's how I'll lead it off, meaning I'll count out those rests out loud. Um, there are some ties in the song. There's three ties. They're not slurs. Look at this song. Can you tell that the note is connecting the same exact note, F to F? So it's called a tie. And yes, even trombone, you can do the ties. Do the ties. It just means link it in one breath. Okay, check the key signature. Okay, so I'm going to lead it off with two, three, four, one, and then you strike the low B flat. Okay, everybody warm up at the beginning. Okay, I'm going to lead it two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. going to lead it off with one, two, ready, go, and then just go ahead and hit the high B flat. Song four has um, a B flat, E flat key signature, um, but what I'm, what's catching my eye is the DCL fine. So DCL fine, it stands for the Italian words da capo al fine. Da capo means the cap, the top, the beginning. So DCL fine means return to the beginning and then stop at the word fine. Okay, everybody. So we're on now on song number four. Everybody warm up high B flat. Okay, I'm just going to lead it off with one, two, ready, go, and then just go ahead and start on the high B flat. One, two, ready, go. one on the page. All right, four measures rest at the beginning. We're just going to skip that. Um, notice at measure 19, there's also four measures of rest. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shorten this. What I've decided I'm going to short this. I'm going to start at measure five after the rests, and then I'm just going to end at the fine. That's all I'm going to play. So I'm going to play from measure five to the fine, and that's it. Now, I want to remind you that the last song on every lesson, A Peaceful Moment in this situation, has a recording that goes along with it, and I sent you the links to those recordings. So when you get A Peaceful Moment mastered, I encourage you to find the link to that recording and play the whole song with the recording. It includes the DSL fine. DSL fine means to go back to that kind of demented dollar sign. It's called the del segno, and del segno um, in Italian means the sign. And it's at measure 11, so you have to leap back to measure 11. But for now, for me playing right now, I'm going to start at measure 5, and I'm just going to end at the fine. Check the key signature. There are some A-flat accidentals. Remember, A-flat for trombone is third position. For baritone and euphonium, it's first finger. Um, there's a tie that leads from measure 9 into measure 10. But then there are some slurs. So remember, trombone, don't do the slurs. You can do the tie, meaning if the two notes are the exact same note, you don't have to change position or lips or nothing. You can do those. Those are called ties. But when there's a slur, remember, don't do it on trombone. Okay, measure 5. Everybody warm up the beginning of measure 5. Okay, 
so from measure five, stopping at the fine. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Peaceful moment with that recording I sent you. Okay, that was lesson 18.